Oh boy, people, dude, the video game universe is changing very, very rapidly. This generation of consoles, there's a lot of things in AAA gaming that is, doesn't make any kind of sense. Like, I know I've been gone for a while. I, like I said, people, in the other video, I took a break. because you know what, man? Took a break, lost subs, try to reevaluate what I want to do with my channel. But this, this, I come out to break off of this, man. Because, like, this is, this is big. Like, this is really big. AAA gaming, essentially... I want to say AAA gaming is dying. Like the budget cuts, man. It's like is AAA gaming even sustainable now? These newer generation of people that's playing, they don't care about AAA gaming that much. They're they're not making their sales right because you know why? Because things are getting too expensive. And going on, we're here. We'll be here from uh, Warner Brothers. This is something that can take a turn for the good or a turn for the worse for Warner Brothers in general. We know why they're doing this because of one game in particular. I'm pretty sure they're going to say this, but it turns out that Warner Brothers wants to dive away from one and done games and AAA gaming and they're going in a new direction. Everyone wants to have that one live service game. Everyone wants to have that one popular game so you can keep continuously going back to. And it seems like Warner Brothers finally is going to go in that route because we saw what happened to Mortal Kombat and we saw what happened to Suicide Squad. So... Let's check this out. Alright, people. Let, let's look at this joint right here. Alright, War Brothers discusses volatile AAA console games will lean into free-to-play and mobile. This is not what I want to hear. Because I don't play mobile games at all. I do not like mobile games. Maybe there's a mobile game in the future that I like, but... Who knows, people, but right now, currently, I don't play mobile games, but I am going to play that solo leveling game if I can get my hands on it. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But there's only certain things I'll play. Maybe Elder Scrolls game. Castles? I don't know, man. Either way, there's only a couple things that can get me. Halo Mobile? Hey, who knows? Okay. The company envisions future Harry Potter game where you can live and work and build and play in that world on an ongoing basis. But if it's a free-to-play game, how is it going to be? Is it going to be a Quidditch game? Something like that. That would be kind of cool because people were, when Hogwarts Legacy came out, a lot of people were mad they didn't have Quidditch. Like, legit. Quidditch would have been awesome. You had the arena, you had the staples there. You had everything there to make a good Quidditch game. And you can, like I said, make it a free-to-play online multiplayer kind of game. That would that would have worked. And it didn't get nominated for Game of the Year or because, you know, it's Hogwarts. They had a controversy last year. Games with controversies aren't going to win anything. That is how the industry works, people. You open your mouth, get the foot shoved in. That is just how it is. But something like that. Oh, my God, dude. I, I'm, I'm shocked what's going to happen with NetherRealm and Mortal Kombat because that, that's a system seller. You know, who, who knows, people? But let's see, let's see what they have to say here. During recent Morgan Stanley speaking event, Warner Brothers Discovery Gaming Boss J.B. Perret, if I got your name right, if I didn't, I apologize. And some of the games company strategies going forward may include more live service and free-to-play games. That is understandable for some of the for some of these things. Free-to-play games, just just make sure you don't put your whole catalog over there because you're not gonna grasp a lot of people. We know Microsoft got the whole Activision Blizzard King deal going on. That is gonna generate a lot of money. Microsoft is third party right now, but they're not really full third party. But they got a lot of IPs and properties, and they're gonna use them for mobile games and stuff. That, that's where the bread is at because these things keep going higher. Even for Microsoft, they do have their expenses they need to go through. So, let's keep on going. Brett said Warner Brothers' recent gaming output of AAA games for console, with a game like Hogwarts Legacy selling 22 million copies and become the best-selling game of the year. But this success is never guaranteed in what Brett says. The volatile market is pointed at the Warner Brothers' latest game. Suicide Squad Killer Just League was a disappointment for the company. Listen, we know, I mean, I gotta go full screen for this one. This, this, this is gonna kick y'all. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was bad on a base level. I said the same thing about it, uh, things on Starfield as well. Even me talking about Starfield. I'm gonna have some videos coming out that, you know, I've, I haven't delved into what I'm gonna do with that kind of content yet. But on a base level, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was not a good game. It wasn't. The first initial release of the game, they market it, they market a game really wrong, or at least to me and my standards, because as soon as I saw the trailer, I wasn't messing with it. I was like, all right, this ain't my kind of game, it's more like a co-op kind of thing, kind of more like Gotham Knights. We don't want a game like Gotham Knights. Like, they put so much money in this game, they had to get some kind of return back. And they, as far as I know, they didn't. It, it just wasn't fun. I know you could go around doing all these little missions and stuff like that, 
the comedy was there, but not everyone likes that slapstick comedy like that. Anymore. I know it's Harley Quinn, and Deadshot, and them, but I think that time has passed. People, some people kind of want more serious kind of games. You see what I'm saying? I understand there's a place for those things, but right now in the AAA gaming market, it ain't there, people. Unless it's like a multiplayer component for it. For me, as a whole, I'm, I'm talking for other people, or I can talk for myself. Forget other people, I should say. That game wasn't designed for me. I don't know who that game was designed for. Co-op, single player, live service, what? They were doing too much. You need to do something else with that. It wasn't working. It wasn't cooking. Now, let's go back to this article. So the plan moving forward is reduce volatility by focus on core franchises and bringing the least, some of them to mobile and free to play space, as well as continue to invest in live service games that play and spend money on over a long period of time. Now, this will help Warner Brothers generate more consistent revenue, he said, going into the tease of WDB and new mobile free market games this year. So what, what kind of games could you see from this? Like I said, I've, I've said you can get Quidditch you can get like a Mortal Kombat mobile kind of thing. It was just kind of weird. What other IPs does Warner Brothers even have? Some DC games. People will buy DC games because the DC games and animated market is way better than the movies. The movies is just pretty much trash. It's, it's dog crap. You, you don't you don't want to play that stuff. And let see. Okay, so this is what I want to say. I didn't read this whole article. Going on this, Brett said he wanted to say the uniquely positioned because the popular brands that singled out with Mortal Kombat, Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, and any DC property, as well as the levered different internal game development studios, he also teased WDB's strategic investment plan to help the future games with stressful adding and the company recently bought somewhere, brand management and sustainability. So that's pretty much it. You know, Warner Bros. Escapris, meaningful growth of the company, make games, correct condition for a company laying off the foundation, results come from 2025, 2026, and 2027. Okay, so ultimately, this is pretty much what I've been saying for the whole thing. So let's get on to my final thoughts. This is going to be, I'm going to say it's a rush job, but there's some things that need to be said. We know things is changing. There's going to be more live service games than mobile games in the future because everything is a screen. Everything is access like this, like Microsoft. Everything is a screen. You got to get that buck. The more and more people go into these things, Gaming is going to be gone in the sense of a traditional way. We'll see things go into mobile. We'll see things be double A. Hex, this past year, these past couple years, uh, these double A games have been kicking ass, dude. They've been destroying, man. These triple A companies, they, you're spending too much money on a lot of things, these IPs. Like, they're not getting the return. Like, we saw what happened to Star Wars. Star Wars recently, I probably didn't make a video about it, but Star Wars recently said they're going away, or looks like they're going away from a lot of their IPs and stuff in EA, going away from the IPs to do their own little thing. You know, Star Wars included. They canceled the freaking Mandalorian game, which I was so hyped for. I was so hyped for that game. They got rid of that because it was volatile. It wasn't getting the return. But these multiplayer games and mobile games, that's where it's at right now. You're probably gonna see the one big budget game, but in that time being, you're gonna get this little stuff, these double A's. You know, go back to like it used to be. For Nintendo 64, for PS1, GameCube, it'll be like that, Sega, Dreamcast. It'll be in that kind of vein like it used to be. More double A game styles, and then you get the triple A baddie game every now and then. That sounds good, but if the games are lesser in scope, will the development costs go down? Yes, but are they going to have that sustainability? Maybe they will be with these mobile games and stuff like that. It is what it is, people. I'm interested to see what they have in the future, but all I know is things are changing, and hey, I'm here for the ride, and I will cover it. All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, peace for some more gaming content.